today we're going to learn how to find the area of rectangles and parallelograms. You will need to take notes as you watch the video. Please work all of the examples in your notes. Pause the video whenever needed so that you can stay caught up with your notes. Okay, the formula for finding the area of a rectangle or a parallelogram is capital A for area equals little b times little h. And what exactly do the little b and the little h stand for? The b stands for the base and the h stands for the height. Alright, so the base is like the bottom of your figure, whatever figure it is that you're talking about. So in our rectangle below, the base is what it's sitting on. It is straight line, this is your base. And in a rectangle, there are actually like a top and a bottom, like a floor and a ceiling, where the, the opposite sides are going to be equal. They're going to be the same. They're going to be congruent. So if this side is 12, then the opposite side, which is parallel to it, is also 12. Then the height is how tall the figure is. Think about going to the doctor's office and you go in for a checkup and one of the things they do is they take your weight and then they also measure how tall you are. So when they ask you to step up on the scale to be measured, they also tell you to stand up straight. Okay, So the height is like going to the doctor's office. You have to stand up straight. You can't be slanted in either direction. So the same is true for the height of your figures. It also has to be straight. In this case, our height will be this side right here, 5 centimeters. Now, one of the important things to know when you're looking for the height is that the height is going to be perpendicular to the base it's going to be that little, those two lines that make that right angle. There's the right angle. It's perpendicular to the base. It makes that right angle. Okay, so once you have identified your base and your height, then you're ready to work with your formula. We know the formula is going to be area equals base times height. Remember when there's no operation symbol in between letters, it's automatically multiplication. And now we're going to write an equation. In our equation, we just rewrite the formula, but we plug in the values that we know. So we don't know the area yet, that's what we're trying to solve for, but we do know the base and the height. So we can write our equation as area equals substitute 12, the base value, for b, and substitute 5, the height, for the h. So our equation is area equals 12 times 5. And then all you have to do is multiply 12 times 5, and you get that the area of this rectangle is 60. Now, it's not just 60. We also need to include our units. So our measurement units are centimeters, and as you'll recall, for area, it's two dimensions, a dimension times another dimension, so it's squared. So our total correct answer would be the area is 60 centimeters squared. Now let's look at parallelograms. Okay, parallelograms, it's the same formula. We have the same formula as we do with rectangles. So our formula is going to be the area equals base times height. Now this particular parallelogram is kind of turned. So when you're looking for the base, although you might want to use this side right here as your base because it's the bottom, it's not flat, is it? It's kind of slanted, so it wouldn't sit flat. It's like your TV. You don't want to have your TV slanted because it's going to fall over. You want it to sit flat. So you need to look for the side that sits flat, which happens to be this side right here and you could actually turn your figure around and put it on the bottom if you wanted to. But this is your base. Now let's look for the height. Again, if we were to use this 10 feet side, if you're at the doctor's office, the doctor's not going to want you to stand this way to take your height measurement. He wants you to stand up straight and tall. The height has to be perpendicular to the base. 
So this, and it makes that right angle. So this is your height. So now we can write our equation, now that we know our base and our height, by plugging the values in. So our equation would be the area equals, and we substitute the 9 feet for the base, and the 9 for the height. So the area equals 9 times 9. Then you just do the math. 9 times 9 is 81. Include your units and make sure you square your units. So the area of this parallelogram is 81 feet squared. Okay, let's do some more. Now, here's another parallelogram. Again, the formula to find the area is area equals base times height. For every problem that you have, if you are putting the formula down first, and then plugging the numbers, the values for the letters into making an equation, you're going to be getting these right, unless you just make a simple math mistake. Okay, as we get more into trapezoids and triangles, the formulas are different. And not writing the formulas down in the equation can make it more difficult to solve. You will forget some things. And you'll see that as we do the triangles and trapezoids. All right, formula equals area times base. So we know our base. It's actually this side right here. It's our flat bottom. Now let's look at our height. We know it's not going to be the 4 because it's slanted, and we need it to be standing up straight and tall. Sometimes we're given the diagram, and the height is on the outside. And they show this with these little dotted lines. If you were to extend this base, then this side right here would be perpendicular to the base. There's that right angle. So this 3 is our height. So our equation is going to be the area equals substitute 7 for the base and 3 for the height. Then you just do the math, and the area is 21 inches squared. Okay, next one. The base of a parallelogram is 14, so there's no figure here, so we actually have to, to read and highlight and underline important information. So the base is 14 centimeters. Then it says that the height is one half the base. Well, if the height is one half the base and the base is 14, well, what's half of 14? You got it, seven. So our, our height is going to be seven centimeters. So here's our formula, area equals base times height, and just plug in the numbers that you know. The area, the base is going to be 14, and the height is seven. So 14 times seven, do the math, and the area is 98 centimeters squared. Okay, um, this one says that a section of a stained glass window is shaped like a parallelogram. Its base is 12 inches, and it has a height of 8 inches. What is the area? I want you to pause the video and solve this on your own. Make sure that you write out the formula, the equation, and the area. If you need to draw a picture of a parallelogram, go ahead and do so. Once you have your answer, come back and check to see if you are correct. Okay, our formula, area equals base times height. You always want to write this first. The equation, this is where we're going to substitute. So we're told that the base is 12 inches, so that we substitute 12 for the B, and the height is 8 inches, so substitute 8 for the H. Then all you have to do is do your math. 12 times 8 is 96. So the area of the stained glass window is 96 inches squared. And we have one more example. This one's a little bit different. Find the area of the shaded re region. So you can see the big shape is a rectangle, and it's shaded. But inside, you have a parallelogram that's not shaded. So we don't want the area of the full rectangle. We want the area of the rectangle without this parallelogram area. So what do you do? Well, we can find the area of the full rectangle and then subtract the area of the parallelogram. So let's do this. Finding the area of the rectangle. First thing you do is write your formula. Area equals base times height. Then find your values. Our base is 12 and our height is going to be 11. So area equals 25 times 11. Do the math. Area equals 275 feet squared. But we're not done. 
because now we need to find the area of the parallelogram. Okay, so let's look at the parallelogram. Whoops. Area equals base times height. So here's our base, our flat side there, and the height has to be perpendicular. So our height is four feet. So substitute the values into the formula. We substitute the 12 for the base, the four for the height, do your math, and the area is 48 feet squared. Now we don't want to add the two together because we want to take out this area of the parallelogram. We only want the shaded, the pink area. So now we subtract to find the total sh shaded area. We take the area of the rectangle, 275, minus the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the shaded is going to be 227 feet squared.